Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Yeah, I'm back. Listen, my friend and I, we were talking about a lady who was reportedly abducted. This was several months ago. She was abducted. She was a mother of children and a wife. of a, I mean, she was a family woman. I think uh, my friend said she was 29 years old, thereabouts. Now, she's jogging. This is my warning to all of you, male and female, if you're young, especially if you're young, if you're 20 and under, you watch yourself. Jogging alone is not wise. Now, I'm going to make a point, but I'm also adding a warning to this. Public safety warning. Stop jogging alone and stop jogging at wee hours of the morning where nobody can hear you if you need to cry out for help. All right. Now that I've made that point, this is what I want to share. Here this woman has, she has the right to run around in her area, that's her neighborhood, Malibu, I believe. She's running up in the hills of Malibu. Too secluded, you guys. And up comes a van with two nice looking little ladies. And what is their problem? They're in a quandary now, aren't they? Because they claim, oh, we're lost. Can you help us? And when the lady comes to the window to give them directions, they hold a gun on her and abduct her. Now, most of us are looking around for other men, male and female. We're looking around, making sure, you know, there's no van with men in it. Watch the women too, you guys. Even watch young people. Anybody will do anything for a dollar bill nowadays in these evil days, in these evil times. Watch yourself. Don't be so gullible and so quick to help. The Bible says watch and pray. Don't just, no, no you keep your eyes open. You watch. You be aware of what's going on around you at all times. Now, what I want to ask you to do is always pray before you do anything like that. God may tell you, not a good time. Mm -hmm. You may think, oh, well, I want to keep my exercise up. Mm -mm. Listen, this woman was gone for weeks. They even, this is the horror part, they branded her like they do cattle. As far as they were concerned, she was their property. Once they found out she was a mother of children, she was as old as she was, they didn't want her. So instead of just taking her back and letting her go, no. As sadistic people would have it, they chose to beat her to smithereens before they let her go. I don't understand the evilness of people. I don't get why people have to hurt people. The woman didn't do anything to them. Why the beating? Bad enough you abducted her. Why the beating on top of it? There's something really sick, diabolical, and demonic about sinful people who have no conscience. Really sick. It makes no sense. Okay, I'm going to stop fussing about that. I'm just asking that we all pray before we go stepping outside the door. There are times I want to go to the store and I think, oh, I need to go. And I don't feel like it's really a good time, so I won't. I did without it one day, I can do without it too. You have to have an ear to God's spirit. He will protect you if you allow him to. It may not be anything real dangerous. It might be a flat tire. It might be anything. One day a nail might be there. The next day it won't. So you end up going the next day. But, you, but if you sense those things in your spirit, because you're consulting with God, 
your life will be far freer of incidences that don't need to even rise up. Problems that you don't even need to deal with. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. But anyway, be warned, be careful, watch and pray. The Bible says acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will direct your path.